Action. Yes, action. Yes. Sick. I don't know if you've ever seen Wayne's World, but where they're like, five, four. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I just, <laughs> yep. I always wanted to do that, but you can't actually do that most of the time. So you just got uh, your chance. I got my <laughs> chance. I got my chance. Another, <laughs> actually, that's another uh, first, you know, like when's the last time you got to do something for the first time, you know? Right. I always like to think about that, man. So um, I'm excited that we get to hang out for a couple of minutes today. Justin, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I know you got tons of things going on. You were telling me about some, annuity appointments that you were working on earlier and you're helping your agents and you got really you've had a lot of great things going on you've had crazy productive personal production um success wise like i've seen you hit crazy numbers i've seen you teach people how to hit crazy numbers and there's some really cool things going on in your group right now but i really want to talk about if you would and correct me if i'm wrong like we've had people that have gotten started that you know within two months have been doing over forty thousand dollars in business in their group I want to say the numbers have been crazier than that. I just don't want to overestimate the numbers, Justin. So if you want to talk, if you could talk just a little bit about some of the successes that you've seen happen, not just for you, but for other people, that would be cool. And then um, if we could maybe, I'll kind of probably ask you some questions as you go through that. All right. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, 100%. Uh, what you're saying you know it's it's been a crazy ride over almost 10 years now and and we've learned to tweak stuff and and learned how to help people and something that i'm a huge believer in is taking advantage of your advantage and this is not a one size fits all scenario you know some people they want to come into a company and kind of cookie cutter people well not everyone's the same you know um now that being said most people can fit into one of a couple different categories okay but that little shift in thinking can be the difference between someone getting started unbelievably fast and taking a lot longer to do it or not doing it at all okay so what i mean by that is this um you know when i have someone come in i'm really talking to them about what's their past experiences everyone comes into this with different different skill sets different backgrounds and different advantages. So sometimes people uh, have a tax office, like they, they do taxes, okay? So they have a, a large number of tax clients that they're dealing with that already trust them to do stuff with their money and trust them to help them out with their taxes. Well, someone like that, they don't need to buy leads. They already have a plethora of clients that like and trust them and I can talk to them about uh, tax strategy and help show them how to talk to their clients about doing IULs that will help them with their taxes in the future. Or if I have somebody that already has a book of health business, I can show them how to talk to their clients about how to upsell them on life or, hey, who do you have your life insurance with? And it doesn't even have to be in this industry. Um, one person is one of some someone else I was thinking of, you know, has has a, a high level of trust with the people that they know. Um, and so my first thing was, hey, man, why don't we put together a list of people like your family or friends and I can show you how to practice your presentation with them and I can show you how to make a couple thousand dollars in your first week before you even know what the heck you're doing. So regardless of whether someone's been in sales before, not been in sales before, has a big warm market, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. There's going to be a program for any single person. Um, it just depends on, you know, which direction we're going to go based on where they're at currently. But just like anything, just like the GPS, we can't figure out where you're going until we know where you've been, right? So it's just like that. Simple, man. I love that, man. And like in, in my head, I'm going different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean? Like you got something exactly. different because I know I started in a different place than where I would be starting today if I got started. You know, like I'm not the person I was. I don't have I have different connections than I had then, you know, like so mm -hmm. when you talk about, you know, depending on where you're at, depends on how fast we can launch your career. And that's really the truth. Right. And 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 I, I used to run. I used to I used to be 
put myself in this victim kind of thought. I don't know if it was victim or just this thought like, man, like these people, like I would look at older dudes with all their tools in their garage and be like, man, they got all these tools. I'm like, well, it took them a lot of years to get there. Like I think about that now, right? Like it took them some time to get there. So I stopped, you know, like, it's like, how do you, like you can, when someone's getting started, they can't compare themselves to someone else's start. Cause like, I mean, that guy's 30 years old and knows all these people versus the 18 year olds that knows this person. Does it mean that they both can't be successful? Absolutely not. Everyone can be successful, but sometimes you just got to work a little, it depends where you're at in life, right? You got to get to where you want to be in life. And once you get to where you want to be, figure out how to get somewhere. We're always trying to get somewhere further along. I feel like we're all these frogs hopping on lily pads a little bit, you know, like, it's like, how do we get to the next lily pad and like, you know, not fall in the water too much, you know? Um, right. You want to, but um, <laughs> can you, I, I love what you're talking about because I've, I've been there and seen people that have gone out and made three, four grand their first week based off of just kind of following some simple instructions. So let's talk. I, I know that if someone's got some clients and they have some, some things that they can move that way. So they're already a business person. You were kind of saying that, right. And I want to unpack that a little bit, but I'd really like to talk about like, let's say that you're, you're not a business person yet. What are some things that you can do, Justin? Like, how are you helping a person get up and running? Like, hey man, like I just got my license. I'm green. Like, I'm just getting started. What are you? Go how do you talk to me? Like, what do you say to me to help me get up and running? Like, how are you helping your people? Perfect. So the first thing I would say is, Paul, have you ever heard of the 20-60-20 rule? Um, maybe. Okay. So 20% of people will buy anything from anyone. 20% okay. of people won't buy anything from anyone, no matter how good you are at sales. And 60% of people will buy from you based on your ability to create like, for them to like you and trust you in a short amount of time. That is the skill portion of the sales, right? Okay. Well, here's what's crazy, okay? Um, what we're gonna do is we need you to practice your presentation so that when you go in the field with actual clients, you'll know what you're doing. You won't be so nervous and all that stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do is put together a list of 10 local people, friends, family, whoever, and you're going to go and practice your presentation with them. All right. Okay. Now here's, what's cool. Um, the number one objective of you doing this is to get practice. But what's cool is simply because they like and trust you already, you're gonna sell seven or eight out of every 10 people that you sit with. So if I could show you how to make three, four grand in your first week before you even know how to spell insurance, are you gonna be upset with me? No, absolutely not. You won't be, okay, cool. So so let's get, let's don't call them yet. Just put that list together and then we'll get back together and I'll tell you how to call them and what to say, okay? Okay, I can do that. And it's literally, that simple okay it's that simple bro seriously so what's crazy is right is after i show them how to sit with those people we have a system where we're going to show each of our people how to get 10 referrals from each of those people well if they sit with 10 and now they got 10 referrals from each of those people now we just got a hundred a plus leads that are 100 percent free and then you know what we're going to teach them to do paul we're going to teach those people to go sit with those referrals and get referrals from the referrals wow. and if it's and if it's done right people are going to be able to sell way more with no money and really no skill because here's the thing right here's the thing is you know, if you needed a real estate agent because you were going to sell your house, you wouldn't go flip through the white paper, white, white pages, yellow pages, whatever, whatever color pages them is, and try and find a realtor. You're going to ask your mama, your brother, your sister, hey, you got a realtor that can help me sell my house? Now, the reality is, is that realtor that your mama or brother tells you about probably isn't the best realtor that you could find. But the fact that they're good enough for your mama they good enough for you. So there's a built-in trust there where that real estate agent now really doesn't have to have any skill whatsoever because there's a trust in a relationship built in. So it takes that skill aspect out of it. So if I can get people to show, show them how to sit with people that they know 
and then get referrals from them and then keep on doing that track, they can continually sell without having developed that skill set because that's the hardest part of what we do. So they can make money while they're building the skill set. Pretty crazy. Wow. So and 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 what you're saying is is it's if if like and trust is the biggest thing that we're working on when we're meeting with strangers, right? If we can eliminate those two things, it makes it a lot easier to learn the skill set of the process of the sales, right? Because exactly. Let's be real. Like calling leads and going out there and meeting with people, like it's great. You can meet a lot of great people. It is a lot of work to get out there, right? Like let's not be real. If it was easy, they'd pay us all 10, 15 bucks an hour. You know, we'd sit around and you know, make a bunch like they wouldn't pay what they pay, right? Like, listen, right. like why would they pay us so much if it was so dang easy, right? Now right. it's simple, like it's simple because it once you simple. learn how to handle people and be genuinely interested in them and try to put them first before you, everything else works out, right? And I know that's 100. weird to say when you're trying to sell and make money, right? Like you're like, let me put them first. Like I gotta pay my bills. Like let me put them first. Like I know it's a mind game, but like, but if you can figure it out, like if you can just do the right thing by the people, all the other stuff lines up and it makes it real simple. So your your so your philosophy, Justin, and you've been at this for a couple of years. This hasn't changed. Like you haven't shooken from this. You're not like, oh no, no, we're gonna do it this way. You're like, no, this is the simplest, fastest way to get somebody out there and just see. I kind of think too, like it, it allows us. If I'm work, if you're working with someone, it allows you to see like, hey, are they open to doing the things that I'm coaching them to do? Because ultimately, their success is your success anyway. So like, they're not like, you know, I know that if you're putting money in their pocket, you're putting money in your pocket. No money goes in your pocket, so money goes in their pocket first, right? Exactly. So, so it's kind of like you're gauging that out almost in the first couple. You know, you're really just seeing what they're made of, seeing if they're open open to doing that stuff that you know leads to success because there's principles that lead to success, right? And that's, to me, easier. What you're saying is easier to learn than, I, I, Justin, you know I love the phone script. I will teach you how to dial a lead in a heartbeat. Like me, you, like, we'll break it down. But but what you're saying is let's just make it easy on you and get out there in front of the people, right? So right. what are some, I mean, is there any other strategies or does anyone ever, is, ever, is there ever a time where they're like, you know what, I just, like, like this, I want to do things differently or is there like, I know you have different strategies for professional people, but what, what else can you tell someone that's getting new or what are some other things that you're doing to kind of see this explosion that you've seen? I know you told me something about finding other people and other weird things too, but. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've been pretty much uh, hiring people since day one. I mean, that's not something that, like it was such a blessing in my life it's never something that I didn't want to share. Um, and it's crazy because there are so many capable people out there. And like you take this same person, right? That's only making 50 grand a year. And with us, they could make 200,000 a year or more. And they're the same person. It's just that that opportunity, that environment only afforded them this amount of opportunity. So, you know, it, it's just like, um, so, so some different examples, uh, is like one of, one of our guys, uh, was our Uber driver and, um, he was somebody that had no sales experience, anything like that, but he just listened to exactly what I just said. And, you know, he made four grand with us in his first 10 days. Wow. Just listen, that's game. it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and now, and now, um, and now he is, he's doing this and he's doing health insurance as well. And, and because of the things that we have taught him out of 120 people in that, in that Medicare Advantage office, he's the number one sales guy wow. out of all of them, you know? So it's just kind of crazy, Paul, that what I have found is, um, no matter, cause look, um, I love this this is our career um for a lot of people it is it becomes something that they love but sometimes it's just a, a means to an end but here's here's what's pretty crazy is following up with people over years and years what i have found is whether they decide insurance is what they love to do and they stick around forever or at some point they go and do something else it's crazy the kind of stories that i get and how thankful people are that 
what we taught them change their life for the better in whatever it is that they did because principles are principles and they can be applied throughout life it's not just about insurance well and i think the the cool part is is exactly what you said is like all this all the things that we've learned in this business help across the board you know with with the world that we live in right and uh you know i have uh people that come and work with us, like, you know, selling insurance or work is, is in the office. And I always go like, Hey, like, I hope that when you leave here, you know, cause you know, I understand it's not for everyone forever. I hope that when you go, like you're in a better mental and emotional state than when you came. Right. And you know how to handle stuff better. Right. Like if we can equip people with the tools, you know, whether they stay with us or go somewhere else, everyone's got their own path in life. Right. I right. just know that like, when I look back at the people that I've worked with, a lot of good things have happened you know like a lot of good absolutely things have and it's and it's exactly what you're saying man it's not it's not necessarily has nothing to do with what i'm doing what justin's doing except for the fact that we've learned something and just passed the right. principles that we know work on right it's like i feel like that's what good parents do right is they try to pass the principles on to the kids problem is kids don't necessarily always want to listen to what you have to say, right? When you become an adult, you get to decide who you listen to, right? As a kid, you don't want to listen to what your parents say. Like you do, but you don't, you know what I mean? Like you do, but you right. don't, right? Like you respect them. I, I mean, you know, everyone's got different parents, but, but like, you know, it's, it's, this business is absolutely crazy with the ability of things that you can do for others while still doing something for yourself, right? Because there's so many other places I feel like, hey, like if that person gets to be better than me, like, I might lose my job or maybe I might look bad, but like, really it's like, if you can get a team working around you that, that is running on all cylinders, like that's what a good coach does. That's what's a, that's what a good team does is the team works together because I know you're better at stuff than I, than, there's some things you're better at than I am. And there's some things I'm better at than you are. We need to learn each other's, like, I need to know when to pass the ball. Right. And when to take the shot. Right. And that's really kind of the thing is like, when you get around enough people, you can figure that out. And with your with the team, it's like you kind of have learned. I've seen this over the years. It's like, oh, this guy, he's gonna, he's more probably gonna fit more in this direction because it's not Absolutely. a one, it's not a one, a one thing fits all, right? It's kind of weird right. when we bring people on. We go, no, like we can completely customize this to your life, right? Absolutely. Like, like and that's so like, thing. like for instance, you know, like I, I have a guy on my team who's a two time Olympian um he has a tax business where he's making like half a million dollars a year and he was someone where he came to us because he was at a different insurance company and all they were trying to get him to do was call leads and go into houses and make 500 bucks a pop this dude's making half a million dollars a year already like and is a high level tax guy he's not going to be interested in 500 bucks a pop Right. Like, so what I know is, is that he already has high level clientele. They already trust him with his money. So the first thing I'm talking to him about is talking to them about tax strategy and helping them out with IULs. And, and his first month in business with us, really his first day in business with us, you know, he made like $40,000 from something that, that we did together with his clients. So it's just kind of like meet people at where they're at. Everyone's at a different stage in their life. Yeah, I love that, man. And I think one of the uh, the biggest things uh, for me to always remember is like, I always love asking like, hey, like, hey man, like what's next, right? Like if you're getting started and you're trying to figure out like what else do I need to be doing? Like, hey, what's next? It's like, what's next? What should I do next? It's not what do I need to do? Cause there's a lot, but what's next, right? right? And then the other question is like, what do I, I always look at this and, and even today I go, what do I need to change about me to get what I want out of? Like, what do I need to change about me to get what I want out of life or out of my business, whatever it is? Because if I look internally, I can go, all right. If I look internally, I go, all right, Minikino, I know more stuff I messed up than they all know. And they know some of the stuff I messed up, you know? So like you can look internally and go, what do I need to fix about myself? What do I need to get better at? And sometimes it's asking someone else like, hey, Hey, look, dude, like sometimes you just need to learn how to be quiet a little bit and not talk so much in your appointments and just ask questions. And if you could just shut up, sometimes you'll make more money. Like, you know what I mean? Like sometimes, I, like, yeah. but that's the truth, right? Like, you know, like you can, if you don't know, if you like, 
first off, don't think you know the answer to everything. You should be asking questions like, what do I do next? And what do I need to change about me? But also ask, ask other people that you look up to. And then also ask yourself those questions. Like you can say like, hey, what do I want to, what do I want to be better in my life? What do I want to be better in my business? If I start asking those questions, I can get a list of things that I can come over to Justin and be like, hey, dude, you know, what do you think about this? And my job is to get your perspective, Justin, to get, you know, Jane's perspective, to get Paul's perspective, to get my wife's perspective, and then make a decision based on the people that I care about and the people that, you know, I feel like have my best interest in mind. Right. Um, and right. so I just, uh, I'm just excited about what we got going on, man. What, uh, what do you think, man? What else, what else can we add to this? What else could we talk about to kind of add more to this call? You think? Mm. Well, the first thing I would say is, is if you're just getting started, you need to make a list. I don't care what the list is used for. You need to make a list. To, to hire people, you need to make a list to go practice your presentation. Both are going to make you money. But here's the thing. Here's what I would be thinking about, okay, especially if you're brand new, is everybody, regardless of your age, regardless of your background, you know somebody or you know somebody that knows somebody that's successful. So what I would challenge you to do is when you put together that list of the people that you're going to talk to to hire, and really, if you're in Paul's group, he's really gonna be the one talking to them. Or if you're in my group, I'll really be the one talking to them, okay? But what I would challenge you to do is put together a list of the three most successful people that you know in your sphere of influence overall. The people that would be that you would be nervous to talk to about this, those are the people that we want to talk to. Okay. Because here's the thing we're going to take that pressure off of you completely. Me, Paul, Jane, we're going to chat with them initially, kind of see where their head's at. And look, everybody can rewrite their history. But here's what I know statistically, if someone is successful in one thing, it's very easy for them to be successful in something else because they already know what it takes to get there. So if you want to make money super quick, I would do that on both the sales and the recruiting side. I agree, man. I'm with you. So um, I think that's a wrap, man. I appreciate you taking the time. I said we'd be on here for about 30 minutes and we're right at that time. So um, I appreciate that. And uh, anyway, um, Will you actually one more thing? Can you talk about the trip that you're about to take? Can you can you say kind of I just want to say like I know you wouldn't bring this up and talk about it, but if you would just kind of what because this is a good example of what this business can do for you. So can you talk about uh you know the present and the trip that you're about to take in it like like short? yeah, yes, short, condensed. Um yeah, so so one of one of me and my wife's uh Sydney, our favorite part of our relationship is that we always try to outgive each other. And it's not necessarily material things. We're just always doing stuff for each other in, in one way or another, which is really refreshing because most people just try and take from each other. And that's why most relationships don't work long-term. But anyway, get out of the philosophical stuff. <laughs> so basically um, last year, uh, my wife killed it for my birthday and um, it was crazy. I won't go into detail. So I felt like I had to outgive again. And so um, I, there was an order to this. I, I gave her first a, uh, a Burberry bikini, really cool. It's white with the Burberry uh, outline, really cool. Then the second thing is I gave her a, um, monogrammed Louis Vuitton aviator sunglasses. So like when you see the lenses, it has like the LV and the star, like, a, you know, all the way down across, like super cool and then gold. And it has that on the side. And then the third thing was I gave her a card that basically said, enjoy these bougie accessories that go along with our romantic couples getaway to a private Island in Belize. So Essentially, um, I rented a private island in Belize, 
and it's just going to be her and I on the island along with staff. So it's pretty cool. We're going to have our little uh, island bungalow there. And, uh, you know, they're going to be cooking for us every meal, drinks, all that stuff. They're even going to take us fishing, snorkeling, all that stuff right around. There's a barrier reef right around there, but it's really cool. I mean, it's about as remote as you can get and is about as romantic and just couples, like just me and her, you know. So I thought that was pretty crazy. I almost feel like I almost feel like I'm infringing by being on the call in a picture with you while you talk about it. Like it's supposed to be just you <laughs> and here I am in the camera, you know. Uh, You're silly. That blows my mind, dude. You're you got an island that you guys are going to, like your island. And uh, I mean, I just want to ask, do you remember like the first time I came to your house and the groceries that were in your fridge? Yeah, uh, there were none. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah you did have a place typical, to live that is true that is true typical uh bachelor 24 23 year old guy no groceries in there really couldn't afford all that um pretty crazy it's been to be, to be here now like you know like it's been a it's been a journey you know i, I was <laughs> like yeah let's get some eggs and some cheese and milk man like this will be perfect we'll have breakfast um it's just crazy to see like what the business, what the industry can do for people, you know, and really that's really what it is, is this industry is it's it, it creates stories like this over and over again, man. You know what I mean? Like and like your story is awesome to watch and my story has been pretty cool to be in and I'm excited to see everybody else's story. And oh, yeah. uh, it's just it's this industry. If you put the effort in, I mean, the passive residual income that it can create for you, the instantaneous deposits that you can create at, almost out of thin air by talking to someone about insurance absolutely insane and yep. just the lives that you can change like you can change lives and change your own life in the process like when a family exactly. calls and says hey like thank you for helping my grandma out with that insurance we were able to take care of the funeral or like hey thanks like you know i was able to go to school after my mom died or like hey like hey thanks like we didn't have to sell the house on the way back from the funeral because of the the plan that you put in place for my husband, I was able to get the hundred thousand dollars of equity out of my house. Like, like that part of it is awesome. And like, like in doing that, you get to create amazing things for you. Like, and, and Justin, I don't know about you. I'm looking at some of these retirement accounts that I've helped people set up and I go, dang, like there's starting to be some money in some of these things. Like, for real, like, you know, seven, 10 years later, five years later, I'm going like, dang, like they're, wow. they're like, it's starting to really like, they're making money. Like I'm getting, like I'm getting excited. Like I'm like, this is gonna be cool to see over the next couple of years, man. That's um, awesome. So I, I just, I appreciate you taking the time, man, and appreciate your example and what you and your wife are doing because it, it means a lot. There's definitely people watching that you don't know are watching that you're inspiring. There's people saying that I knew he could do it the whole time. You know that, and they didn't believe in you at all. And there's people that, exactly. Like, there's people that probably look at your pictures and go, ah, they're just lucky. And I know the work yeah. she put in and I know the work she put in and luck's got something to do with it, but hard work's got mostly to do with it. Right. And I right. think when the hard work is there, the luck comes with it. So 100%. Appreciate, you, man. appreciate your time and uh, enjoy that trip with your wife. Take lots of pictures for everybody. Send you oh, we will. locations because I want to go to that island one day and fly over it or something. Um, so <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you for listening, guys. Take care. I appreciate Bye. it. Peace.